सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली The India Pakistan match at Ahmedabad in the ongoing cricket world cup was a week ago as cricketing action goes it was a phoss or what in the more polite english description would be called a damp squib the crowds however did not think so for them as for any partisan the more one sided the game the better as long as your team is winning three important debating points however endured at the end of the day the crowd not the winning indian team became the story and not just because some people greeted pakistani wicketkeeper batter mohammad rizwan with chants of jai shri ram on his way to the pavilion it drew revulsion from the liberal constituency in india not least because the game was in gujarat and in the new narendra modi stadium with amit shah in attendance and don't forget his son jay shah runs bcci the question it left behind should religious chants have any place in on any playground least of all in a game that is often called the real religion in the subcontinent aren't we communalizing a mere sport let me get my opinion out of the way even before we go deeper into the argument no it is definitely not a good idea to bring religion into sport nationalism even can kill for my club football style loyalties is about as far as one should go that should however is not written in any law or convention more on that later we'll come to this point later a somewhat more substantive cricketing question was raised by pakistani coach south african australian miki arthur he was polite in his post match press conference he mostly made cricketing points with humility then he laid some of the blame for his team's poor day on the partisan crowd it hurts he said that the pakistani fans were missing it felt like a bilateral game instead of an icc tournament and there was no dil dil pakistan i mean loosely translated my heart and life with pakistan the favored chant across the border just like our india india the important thing is his complaint wasn't about the cricketing aspects of the conditions that favor a home team the pitch outfield breeze or lights even the umpiring although now we have neutral umpires and drs the complaint was about the atmosphere now we understand the stresses pakistani cricket coaches live with especially after the mystery death of one of their predecessors bob wulmer found dead in his hotel room in jamaica a day after pakistan were knocked out of the 2007 world cup it is tough to be responsible for the team team of probably the most passionate cricketing nation in the world but to expect the crowd to be even a little bit even handed in india is a stretch and to expect dil dil pakistan on a pa system on any indian cricket ground is a fantasy that said the argument that many sensible pakistanis make has substance it would only have been fair and good for the tournament if at least a few hundred if not a few if not more if on at least a few hundred pakistani fans had been given visas to watch the match in india every participating team this is an icc tournament india is, a, is the host so every participating team should have the right to see their fans in the stadium we know that india pakistan visas are a rough issue and subject to much competitive cussedness as hosts however india could be large hearted whatever the coach's excuses the pakistani cricketers are consummate professionals and experienced at playing in tough hostile conditions ask the indian team this lot of indian players have not played in pakistan but they have won two consecutive series in australia where crowds can be every bit as partisan or maybe not every bit as partisan because they will have some quite a few indian supporters also now wherever indian team goes there are indian supporters but they could be quite hostile in ahmedabad in any case there is no beer available not in all of dry gujarat at least not legally pakistani players are playing in front of fully indian crowds across these six weeks and if you think you can write them off i'd counsel caution 
they know they know how to take hostile crowds in their stride and in fact as i've been watching them in other matches i find indian crowds quite supportive of them not just sporting but almost partisan towards the pakistanis we saw that in hyderabad and i'm seeing it again in their match against australia the third debating point came from australian gideon hague gideon hague is probably the finest and most respected cricket writer in the world today he is also shane warne's biographer and for long an admirer of the rise of indian cricket in fact i had the honor and privilege of recording a vakta talk with him in 2014 i think in the winter of 2014 i also spoke at his book release i in fact i engaged with him in a conversation at his book release in delhi on his visit to delhi a clip from a discussion has now gone viral in india where he expresses shock and if i may say so laced with some derision at the crowd in amdabad the sea of blue shirts in the packed stands he said somewhat unthinkingly in my view look like a nuremberg rally now we know that the modi shah bjp their government and the leadership of the bcci with jay shah are all facts that trigger many across the cricketing world but to demonize a ticket buying crowd of fans as blue shirted 21st century nazis all competitive sport is about passion it is passion that makes fans pay for tickets buy tv subscriptions and brands plugged by their stars soaps shampoos deodorants bank accounts deodorants sold as perfumes pan masala pan masala sold as elaichi powder insurance and bank loans all this adds up to the riches in this case of the bcci and by implication the international cricket council or icc and cricketing bodies across the world that's why everybody wants to play with india and that's why everybody wants india to tour their country no sport can survive without passion and passion is about partisanship it can be about the country club or even individuals think nadal versus federer can you judge one like paying fans just because they happen to be in modi state and likely predominantly his voters can you call them blue shirted nazis imagine the sea of red shirts at old trafford when manchester united play the crowd will be noisier beer addled and in red shirts they may also break things on their way back if their team loses nuremberg rally will you call them after a long freeze because of the wars in 1965 and 1971 post the early 1960s india and pakistan resumed playing in each other's country from the mid late 1970s onwards in the 45 years since our bilateral relationship has gone up and down several times the crowd response the level of partisanship even the view on the street has also varied with this there is much talk of the chennai crowd staying back to celebrate the pakistani victory in a nail biter of a test match in january 1999 this was during a period of india pakistan detente and vajpayee was riding that bus to lahore soon after again the indian team was greeted warmly even popularly hailed for its victories in pakistan in the 2003 4 series because musharraf and vajpayee had just signed a peace deal that looked good at that point it also lasted some time on the other hand i saw a bit of the 1989 1990 series in pakistan and the crowds were the nastiest you've seen anywhere the amdabadis will need a long way to go to rival them i hope they won't the chant that still echoes in my mind pakistan ka matlab kya la ilaha illallah hindustan ka matlab kya bhad mein jaye humko kya again poorly translated it means what's the meaning of pakistan what does pakistan mean to us there is no god but one god and his name is allah what's the meaning of india it can go burn in hell for all we care simultaneously the hockey world cup was also being played in lahore in any match where india played forget the match against pakistan in any match that india played the chants were even worse and that persistent hilti hui deewar hai ek dhakka aur do hilti hui deewar hai ek dhakka aur do it's a shaking wall give it just one more push india finished 10th in a field of 12 i didn't hear them blame the partisan crowds for it the fact is the fact is the crowds were equally partisan and backed every other rival india played in that league that's how the crowds are when your nations have a broken relationship or when your relationship is passing through a rocky phase that in 1989 90 was when the insurgency in kashmir had begun or resumed pandits were being thrown out hounded and thrown out terrorism in punjab was at its worst 
the Soviets were retreating from Afghanistan and the Pakistani establishment thought that they were winning at more than cricket or hockey. We expressed our disapproval for this early enough in this column. Now we also need to ask an inconvenient question. Which was the first cricketing country in the entire world that did this and persists in doing so? Look around the subcontinent. Bangladesh, don't do it. Afghanistan, don't do it. Afghanistan, which is the most admired and loved team in this World Cup by Indian crowds, with the exception of India, of course. Now that the hesitations and niceties are gone, black and white videos are emerging of the Pakistani team celebrating at Chipok in that January 1999 Chennai Test match with Naray Takbir Allahu Akbar. For decades, Pakistani centurions in cricket and winners in hockey against India have bent down in prayer. When Rizwan did so in Dubai during that T20 win against India in 2021, Bakar Yunus celebrated it on television on a show by saying how gratifying he found the fact that Rizwan could say his namaz in the midst of Hindus. He might have apologized later and has been forgiven to the extent, even to the extent that he's on the TV commentary team in India right now. If the same Rizwan was now greeted with that Jai Shri Ram call, you can add two and two. Once again, we are not approving of it. All this said, the more India and Pakistan play, the more these edges will smoothen. Who knows, on another day, now possible only in the knockout stage, India and Pakistan may play again. If the result is different, which I hope not because I am an Indian partisan, but if the result is different, hope not, it will be because the Pakistanis played well, not in spite of the crowd. Just as they lost in Ahmedabad because they played badly, not because of the crowd. And you can be sure, if they win in that next match against India, if there is a match and they win, they will again kneel in prayer. Now, religion in sport, anybody?